Minesweeper is a game of both luck and skill. But how do players measure skill? In the competitive scene, the spotlight has always been on the time world records. The player that manages to clear the board in the least amount of time is generally regarded as the best Minesweeper player. The original version of the game had a timer very well visible and Bill Gates was flexing his 4 second beginner time to the co-creator of Minesweeper Robert Donner as early as 1990. Once Windows Minesweeper was popularized, people began uploading their times to the internet and it wasn't long for the first world rankings to appear. Fast forward to today, Minesweeper Online is the most popular Minesweeper website and it has a different way of ranking the best players. As you can see, the players are ranked by trophies. You get trophies for each of these categories. Some are more skill-based than others. We can see time is unsurprisingly one of them. The category I love and I'm better at is mastery. Mastery score is calculated as the number of wins out of a hundred consecutive games. The mastery website record is 55. I once came close to beating it, but ultimately fell short and got a 54. To get better at mastery, you don't necessarily need to get faster. To be a good mastery player, you gotta find the right balance between playing fast and playing to maximize your chance of winning. For example, it's common in the fastest games played in the website to see people risking the loss in the first clicks to get a faster time. This is the website time record. Even though Z and Ju had a way to click a tile without risking exploding, he clicked lots more tiles risking exploding to get a big opening and start playing fast. But what if the same game was the game that made the difference from not getting Master World Record and getting it? Of course it would be wiser to play safer and click the safe tile. That would have revealed the one which brings us to today's topic. The Classical. Why is this position so important? Well, for starters, it happens fairly often. You can expect to see it in about 6% of games. And secondly, this position is not at all trivial. It is a guessing spot, meaning that there is no safe tile to click and the best move, meaning the move that gives you the best chance of winning the game, it's not obvious which one it is. In this video I'll explain what I think the correct move in this position is, as well as why I think that. Ok, there are different approaches to this position. Many unexperienced players, when they find themselves in a guessing spot, would click another corner of the board trying to get a better opening and continue from there. We'll call this approach the newbie. This brings us to how we are going to value the opening strategies. We're going to use two parameters. Probability of exploding or finding a bomb and probability of progress. The score we are going to use to rank these opening strategies is probability of progress divided by probability of exploding. The more probable progress is, the better. The less probable exploding is, the better. Ok, for starters, let's calculate the probabilities for each tile of containing a bomb. Or just let the computer do it. Here they are. Now we can map the score of the newbie onto this graph. The newbie gives you almost 50% probability of progress and 21% probability of exploding. We can do better than this. How about clicking this tile instead? We'll call this approach the crafty. As you can see, the probability of exploding is still 21%. However, the probability of progress increased to 58%. Now, once we put that onto our graph, we can see that the newbie score is worse than the crafty one. That is represented by this line being lower than this one. 
we can now say that the newbie seems to be a worse opening strategy compared to the crafty. But I know what you're thinking. Hey, my boy, what about those juicy 8% bomb tiles? Let's see if one of them has a greater score than the crafty. Let's see. This one seems promising. 8% probability of exploding and 36 probability of progress. Now that is good. I guess we could call it a day. Call this opening the best and start using it on 6% of our games. But not so fast. What does MS Coach's Solver, the current strongest Minesweeper entity in the universe, think of this position? Hmm, that's weird. That move has a lower score in our assessment. To understand why the Solver prefers to click this tile instead of this one, we have to understand what the Solver's values in a move. The Solver gives great importance to secondary safety, which is the chance of surviving the next two safest clicks, and a minor importance to progress. The solver score is calculated as such. The solver then knows that this move, even though it doesn't lead to progress as many times as this one, it's better due to the fact that it will lead to safer clicks if nor a bomb nor progress is encountered. Maybe this was the best move after all. I decided to study in depth all possible ramification of these two approaches, the best and the solver, calculating not only secondary safety and progress, but also secondary progress, tertiary safety and tertiary progress. And this is what I found. By considering the first move, the best is clearly better than the solver line. On the second moves, when in the first move nor a bomb nor progress has been found, the solver approach seems to lead not only to safer moves on average, but also to more progress. This is true for the third move also, when in the first and in the second move we don't find either progress or bombs. This, however, puts the two approaches on the same level only if the first and the second move don't produce progress or lead to explosions. Otherwise, the best approach tends to produce more progress and less losing. This evidence is not conclusive by any means. The two approaches follow very similar trajectories and I'm not considering every variable that might influence the chances of winning. Now let's take a look at how to play the best approach correctly by taking a look at its more probable lines. Of course, by clicking here, you're hoping to find progress via a 1, a 6, or if you're playing in Minesweeper Online, a 6 containing an arena ticket. But if you don't find progress, what I suggest is to always try the symmetrical move, meaning once you click here and don't find progress, you click here. As you can see by these probabilities, that is always the move with the highest score. It should be noted though, that in case a 2 is revealed in the first click, the solver prefers this move. Once the second click hasn't resolved in progress, we find ourselves almost always in the following configurations. 2-2, 2-3, 2-4, 2-5, 2-6, 2-7, 2-8, 2-9, 2-10, 2-11, 2-12, 2-13, 2-14, 2-15, 2-16, 2-17, 2-18, 2-19, 2-20, 2-21, 2-22, 2-23, 2-24, 2-25, 2-26, 2-27, 2-28, 2-29, 2-30, 2-31, 2-32, 2-33, 2-34, 2-35, 2-36, 2-37, 2-38, 2-39, 2-40, 2-41, 2-42, 2-43, 2-44, 2-45, 2-46, 2-47, 2-48, 2-49, 2-50, 2-51, 2-52, 2-53, 2-54, 2-55, 2-56, 2-57, 2-58, 2-59, 2-60, 2-61, 2-62, 2-63, 2-64, 2-65, 2-66, 2-67, 2-68, 2-69, 2-70, 2-71, 2-72, 2-73, 2-74, 2-75, 2-76, 2-77, 2-78, 2-79, 2-80, 2-81, 2-82, 2-83, 2-84, 2-85, 2-86, 2-87, 2-88, 2-89, 2-90, 2-91, 2-92, 2-93, 2-94, 2-95, 2-96, 2-97, 2-98, 2-99, 2-100, 2-101, 2-102, 2-103, 2-104, 2-105, 2-106, 2-107, 2-108, 2-109, 2-110, 2-111, 2-112, 2-113, 2-114, 2-115, 2-116, 2-117, 2-118, 2-119, 2-120, 2-121, 2-122, 2-123, 2-124, 2-125, 2-126, 2-127, 2-128, 2-129, 2-130, 2-131, 2-132, 2-133, 2-134, 2-135, 2-136, 2-137, 2-138, 2-139, 2-140, 2-141, 2-142, 2-143, 2-144, 2-145, 2-146, 2-147, 2-148, 2-149, 2-150, 2-151, 2-152, 2-153, 2-154, 2-155, 2-156, 2-157, 2-158, 2-159, 2-160, 2-170, 2-171, 2-172, 2-173, 2-174, 2-174, 2-174, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175, 2-175
And finally, for 3-3 and 4-3, I think you're better off clicking the corner, since making progress here is very unlikely. So that covers the main lines of our approach. Let's do the solver approach some justice and discuss his main, or more probable, ramifications. Ok, if you find a 2 or a 3, it's pretty obvious what you should do next. This is a move so safe it's a no-brainer. Ramifications from the 3 always result in positions in which this tile is very safe to click, and in the case of ramifications from the 2, we have to distinguish. If another 2 is revealed, you might want to try your luck with this move. But the score of this riskier move is higher. If a 3 instead appears, this becomes the clear best option. And if a 4 instead appears, this seems to me to be the best way forward. If you instead find a 1, you might want to risk more with this move, since it's still relatively safe and it's got better chance at progress and better secondary safety. I think this video is long enough. I could keep going, but I would be covering very obscure and improbable lines. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this different kind of video and what you think the best approach to this common position is. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.